Jordan, 26-85 clobbering on Thursday. Here is Jordan, yes. Now Grant posting on Oakley, and Jordan with a tough angle shot. Jordan off the spin to the scoop. A spectacular shot by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was anticipating the trap. He dribbled around Ewing, pulls it back. Concentration all the way. On the Oakley posting, squaring up on Grant and spinning in for a bad shot. Feels the double and triple team. Here's Jordan. Nine points for Michael Jordan, and he's tied it. Jordan going left. And the Bulls take a 42-40 lead. Jordan with the left hand under, around, and hooks it by Patrick Ewing's outstretched arm. Here's Jordan. It counts. And the foul. And this time it is on Tucker. Trent Tucker played him about as well as you can play him. He got help from the next defensive player near the middle of the floor, but Jordan reverses, pulls it back on the Leading arm. the NBA in scoring for the fifth consecutive year. Personal foul. Here's Jordan. Yes. By a 71-68 advantage. Jordan, yes. So the Bulls by five. Chicago has come down in what they call their spread set. Michael Jordan blowing by the defender. It's just a wide open court. And Vandaway coming up. Foul on Jordan, who does not agree with the call. That's his second. It's 83, and the Knicks 77. Shot clock at three. Here is Jordan. Yes. Two clutch shots by the Bulls. The Chicago Bulls have defeated the New York Knicks. 89 to 79. I mean, Jordan using the pick and on a switch. Now backing Hawkins. Yes. The Bulls eight. And the 76. The Bulls are so athletic. They can switch at times on the floor. Still not wind up with a real bad matchup. Jordan with the reject. And an official timeout. Spectacular move by the 36-year-old Ricky Green. Pippen getting down in a hurry, and he answers. It's at four out of five in the 76ers' favor. Hawkins had nowhere to go. Anderson stopped. That was deflected. Talk about concentration. Left hand down for the low pass. Right hand up to challenge the shot or the overhead pass. Hershey tries to shake him with a little fake back to his left shoulder. Jordan's right there waiting, waiting. Six. Jordan goes to the fadeaway. Seven points for Jordan. Michael Jordan took over the game in New York last Thursday. That's a steal by Jordan. Won't count. He fouled him from behind. He was not between Jordan and the front of the rim. Therefore, instead of taking it out on the side, he gets to shoot the two free throws. Ricky Turner got the step. Gilliam lost it. Here's Jordan. Against this Chicago team, you've got to make your moves quickly. They're just too good at recovering defensively. You hold the ball, they're right there in your face. Hands in, lead to easy scores at the other end, and Jordan, the best finisher in the game. Charlotte for Kurt Rambis. Average just under 19 a game for the Hornets. Here's Jordan. Today. Now they want them to know that we can shut you down whenever we want, and you're not getting back in this game as Michael Jordan continues. The no threat, 0 for 2 from the field. Jordan for Grant. We're right behind Michael Jordan. There is nowhere for him to go here, and somehow he finds a teammate under the rim. He just has such sensational hang time and the ability to see the entire field. The ninth team in NBA history to win 60 games in a season. Jordan. Cross court to Hersey Hawkins. There's Jordan over there on him. Hawkins gets the jumper. Hersey Hawkins gets the first Philadelphia bucket. We are tied Look at out. two. And that's how you answer that, Michael Jordan. After a basket, something Chicago does so well. Gilliam blocked from behind by Jordan. The uncontested jump shot from 18 to 20 feet. Scotty Pippen's face. Fade it away again. Oh, 
Can't do that. Frank gets it right back from Michael for two more. Pinpoint passes through two big men who are trapping you. But That's Charles it. is one of the best. Eight points now for Armand Gilliam, but Michael Jordan is trying to take over a bit for Chicago. Michael, Tonight. again by two. Well, he's answering the call here. Jordan got himself open for two more. He has 15. We're tied at 41. Jordan wide open again. I'll tell you what, you can't leave him open like that. Going to go in against Cartwright. Comes up short. Rebound pulled away. Pippen got a three on two. Chicago break. Look out for Michael. Another unbelievable move for Michael Jordan. He has 19. Jordan holding it, looking over Hersey Hawkins. Now he'll take the Two shot over Hawkins, three. and he drills it. See, they're running Hawkins up these baseline screens to try to get, knock Jordan out of there. Michael is staying right on him. And that's his third foul, plus the technical puts Jordan at the line. Michael now at 22 points in this first half. For Chicago. Pippen doing a good job on Barkley. Barkley had the ball battled. He's walking up the floor. His man is up here with the basketball. They're scrambling to pick up for him. Jordan with two Sixers right on him. Well, Horn knocked Cartwright out, but Gilliam never went to the ball. Michael hung in the air for one instant longer, didn't he? Now you saw him get plenty of time. Eight seconds here. Jordan is taking over for Chicago. He has 30. 76 76ers chipping away at the Bulls lead here in the third. Michael Jordan, though, is beginning to warm up here in the third. He has 32 points. That's a nice job. The rest of the job. Not with that man operating like he can. Armstrong. Oh, they need help down inside there, right there. Nice. Oh, he's amazing. He is absolutely amazing. Two of those tonight, but that one wouldn't fall for. Now Scotty Pippen just inside the three-point line. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Hey, there it is. The pick set they, by Purdue. They're wearing it out, Pete. All right, and that's what smart teams do. All in the second half. And it comes to Michael. Is he going to start taking over again? He might be about to. He has 40. Hey, Hurst has been spectacular. He has. He tries again, has the ball batted away. Three fouls, so Chicago gets one point out of that, an opportunity to make it a three-point play. Jordan gets it to roll in on the front edge of the rim, his first basket of the night. Inside the horse, Grant, from eight feet away. Jordan collects the loose ball, kicks it back in. Jordan has four. Jordan pulls up, fakes, double crosses, and gets it to fall. Jordan has six. Here a two-point lead in the game. Jordan bullet pass to Cartwright. Pulled by two. Jordan blows five. Charles Barkley. Jordan and Ron Anderson. Anderson a little behind it. And Jordan with the quickness advantage. Ron Anderson has got to get over on this side so the double team means anything. Now you're going to see what happens. This double team is no good. You got the baseline, and boom, the slam. Michael dunk. Jordan, now this is what he does. He sizes up. He sees the double team. They allow him to go outside. And this is a nightmare if you're a big guy. Michael Jordan coming at you for the slam dunk. Four assists already. Saturday, entire game, 10 points, three assists. Michael with the drive, laying it off to Stacy King. Four seconds to shoot for Philadelphia. Anderson knows it. Stripped away, two at the buzzer. Jordan got a hand on it. Reed trying to defense Jordan. A nightmare. Once again, that double team got him dunk. Paxson wide open. Andre Turner way too late for John Paxson. Now, Michael in transition. You find two guys, and there's John Paxson spotting up again, fans. And just Andre Turner made a better shot with the shot clock running down. Jordan buries it over Hawkins. Michael gets it inside from eight feet. He's not going to miss that. Jordan with five, drives it round Barkley. Jordan. Oh, mercy! You describe it. <laughs> That's bigger than a four-point turnaround. Wave that three-point attempt by Turner. This is Michael Jordan. This is unbelievable shot. I do not know how he made that shot. That is unbelievable. Michael Jordan in the post against Hawkins. Remember, Hawkins has two fouls. Anderson got there late. Jordan makes him pay. 
angle on his double team was not good. He, Ron Anderson, watch Ron Anderson. Here he comes. And see the gap? You cannot do that with Michael. You've got to make him go around you. He is too good. He'll step right through you. A lot like Kevin McHale does. The Sixers starters. Jordan now in double figures with 10. Michael Jordan. This is a couple jump shots. Spinning drive. Rick Mahorn just gets right out of his way again. And you know, I know I keep hard. Michael Jordan from eight feet away. And Michael has 15. Seven point Bulls lead. Nine minutes to go, third quarter. Jordan. 17 points. Normally that jump doesn't go that quickly. It's not that easy. Percy Hawkins, he's got his mind in the hip pocket of Jordan. Look at him. From Robert Reed, almost a prayer, just barely draws iron. That's who holding the basketball too long. Get attack. This is attack. Chicago had gone cold from the floor in the last five and a half minutes. That's the first field goal. Michael weaving in and out of players. The little finger roll off the big hand drive. And great play by Michael Jordan. With it again, with Charles Barkley holds. Jordan has Chicago's last six points. Ricky Green can't control it. Jordan. Chicago's last eight points. Philadelphia to give him a two-point win in game three. Jordan with 34 points. Hard to the hoop. Bulls by three. See, Armand Gilliam. Michael has the last 10 Chicago points. This is the foul I thought Armand Gilliam should have taken. Here goes Michael to the basket, and he just sort of ushers him in there. Barkley to Green for the open jumper. No Yes, the lost game. its presence in the game. Your way through that first eight, ten minute stretch. Stay close enough so that then you can make it up in the last three quarters. Caught right. Yes. Good play by Pippen on a double up. And Jordan was able. It's between the Bulls double teams and, and a lot of other teams is the aggressiveness. The strong, tight aggression. Yes. And it counts. Uh, this is the most I've ever seen Michael Jordan talk to the opposition during the course of the game. I think Ahmad mentioned it before the game. He's never seen him as focused as he is for this one. Oh, Thomas had a save and another steal by Jordan. Putting the move on Dumas. Detroit will talk it over. Well, it was anticipated that this would be a physical series. And Michael Jordan told us prior to the game that he's here in Chicago on Tuesday. Jordan sweeping through. Dumars again from deep. Cartwright on the rebound. And Rodman and Jordan going at each other. Now on Rodman, his third. This has been brewing throughout the first half. Michael Jordan just gave Rodman a little tap. Check. Thomas fires through the air ball. have done a terrific job on Jordan. Cartwright, yes. Jordan, scoreless thus far in the third. Armstrong with the fake and the bucket. Bulls 81, Pistons 74, Jordan posting and then flipping to Cartwright. He's only shooting 41% with replay, uh, offensive rebound. Jordan for two. He's in the ball. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pippen just hit. <laughs> the crowd gave him a 10. 14 already for Dumars. Not bad considering he had nine in game one. Jordan for two. It's playing. Uh, Jordan, watch how he fights through the screen, fights through the Pippen screen. Now he's up in here. He thinks that he's discouraged the shot. Michael just takes it right over. Jordan's slapping the ball away. It's showtime. Get the cameras rolling. To uh, keep an eye on Jordan coming down in here. You see, he'll try for the shot blocks, but he loves to strip you. And if you are dribbling, he'll go for the bounce. Now, once again, they make the steal, and they convert. Action will take his touch. They're bringing Cartwright to the ball. Now Michael's on a one-on-one. -on -one. Jordan from outside, and he's down to the third quarter. Dumas punching away at the ball on Jordan. Jordan pulls the trigger. Oh. The only thing wrong that you see with this lineup, Bill Jackson was concerned prior to game one. He says that Detroit gets away with a lot of hard hand checking. Jordan stops back, gets the three. Oh, yes. And he points at Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Michael, up until this time. They wanted to make Michael work defensively. Jordan, the pull-up, elevates way above Joe Dumar. Pippen, 17 points, seven rebounds, four assists, a couple of steals and a block. Jordan, 18 and 20. You just can't get it done on the road that way. Michael Jordan, who Chuck Daly says has been just totally clobbering the Jordan rule. Livingston steals it away. Great play by Cliff. Jordan. Will he spot him for the three inside of Livingston? He completes it. That's the way to reward a guy. And then Jordan with a big defensive play. And then the foul on Vinny Johnson. He's been 16 of 21 from the line. Still says the year of 88-89 was his best. Three for three from the field. McGuire got the step, but lost it. And here comes Jordan. Michael Jordan going glass, and the Bulls take a 10-8 lead. Long range pop by Jordan, who is a two out of three. Chuck Daly and Brendan Sir. Jackson wide open. Johnson also in the lineup. The Bulls lead by six as we get started in the second quarter. Jordan from deep. Michael Jordan has connected on three out of five. That from downtown. He has seven. And Jordan fouled by Thomas. Dot clock is at five. And a very friendly rim from Michael Jordan. Opening with McGuire again. He's kept it only three shots, and that was early. Here's Jordan in the race with Thomas. The Bulls now by 14. Here is Jordan. Isaiah trying to get back, but Michael for two more for his total of 16. A nine-point lead. And a defense, the crowd. With four, Sally has three. Here is Aguirre. Michael Jordan tripped up after he picked up the fourth foul. And he's been able to get away with it. Celtics of the 60s. Difficult regular season because of all the injuries suffered. Michael Jordan now with 21. Looking at a Chicago Bulls club that is attempting to sweep them to end the season. And Armstrong in the backcourt, ran up front with Williams and Pippen. Jordan changed his mind and was able to find Grant. You can see Jordan there posting up. Looked like he was going to shoot. Dropped it off to Horace Grant. Horace, of course, laid it in. Looking, he'll score if he has to, but he would rather feed the ball off. Pippen able to feed it off to Jordan. Turnabout is fair play, and their defense right now is doing it. The Bulls' energy level is high. go back to the acquisition of Bill Cartwright, who's come up very strong in the playoffs. Here's Jordan. And a nice job, in particular, with the situation these days in the NBA where uh, you can win it. It counts. Yes, and the foul. 
you don't have to have the super center. Timeout has been taken. Three minutes gone by. In the fourth, the Bulls lead by 20. Scott. And back come the Bulls. They're down by three. Pippen for Jordan. The Laker lead is one with to the free throw line. The nice thing about this Bulls team is they have a number of people who can lead the breaks, make the right decision, and then perhaps the best finisher in basketball, Michael Jordan. Three on two. Pippen. Oh, what a move by Scotty Pippen. As we come up on one minute left in this opening quarter, Jordan off the fake. And at the buzzer. Game tied at 26. Jordan. Some three ten seconds to go in the quarter. What a pass from Jordan. One and five ten seconds to go. Of course, the miss. Crowd wanted to travel, but Armstrong picked it off. It's a two on one. Here's Jordan. to body up on him, did not give him a chance to double. As soon as he caught the basketball, he turned and went. Keep an eye at Scott and Jordan down low. The battle taking place, the bodies, the arms. It's a battle out here. Running 9 o'clock Eastern time, game three of the four in Los Angeles next Friday, game four in L.A. next Sunday night. Michael Jordan has 25. Lakers lead at 75. You turn the Lakers season around? Wait a moment. What, what did you tell Magic? I'm not allowed to tell you. It's a secret. And Michael Jordan has given the ball. And back come the Bulls. Jordan with the pull-up. Yes! The Chicago Bulls with a 70. He will go to the foul line. Jordan, once he gets the basketball, has a full head of steam, but that gains control of the dribble, pulls up, so he gets the good look at the basket, the good position, and then he is ready to open this thing up and wants to get everybody else involved. Jordan. Yes. And a count. Jordan has the great ability, once he gets in the air, to understand and know where his teammates are and then make that split decision at the end, leading to score. Scott, rather than trying to extend and block it, tries to get Jordan on the way up. Basket's good and a chance for the three-point play. Play defense, maybe pick up some early fouls. Jordan backing Scott. Yes. He hits for Jordan. Thought he'd be cutting by. Thompson steps out on a switch. And Grant able to take the pass from Jordan. Something that you saw time and time again in the series against Philadelphia. Break at the defensive end for Michael Jordan. Good look by Worthy, but Jordan over for the block. They have readjusted the clock, and they say one second remaining on the 24. One of the things that Michael Jordan does so well is block shots. Jordan into the point guard spot, playing Levingston at the small forward. Offensive foul call on Magic Johnson. That is his first. And when you talk about having courage and guts, keep in mind that Michael Jordan is playing with two fouls right now, yet he decides he's going to step in and take the offensive foul with about a minute and a half left in this first. Pippen had the mismatch. Found Jordan open. Here's Michael. And that is only his second field goal. Bulls posting. There's Jordan. Over Scott. Magic trying to set in the first half. It's the Bulls 40. The Lakers 
37. Jordan, a quiet first half by design, looking to get others involved. Now Michael looking to break out. And he has. He's hit four of six. He has eight points. The Bulls have a two-point lead. Jordan. Well, Byron Scott did a nice job in preventing that hard dribble move to the right. First picked up by Scotty Pippen. Give Jordan the ball live at the top of the circle. He loves to play from there, forcing teams to double from the wing, from the side, from behind, from on top. Six of eight here in the third. Jordan with the step and the bucket. He was fouled. That's at least three, four times that Magic's turned to the official in the last six or seven minutes of play. Michael Jordan. Eleven. This represents their biggest lead of the night. Jordan over Scott. Yes. Cliff Levingston is back. So Levingston, Williams, and Pippen up front. Jordan and Paxson in the backcourt. Here's Jordan. Yes. And it counts. Four minutes of a game. The ball goes in Michael Jordan's hands. Well, so far this half, Bill Jackson has put it in his hands the entire third quarter. Scotty Pippen saying to Michael, keep it going. Got us on a roll. Is that what he said? That has developed here with the Chicago Bulls now up by 14. Lakers have to get the shots up a little bit more frequently than the other day. Paxson. Again. Paxson, who becomes an unrestricted free agent at the end of this year. A perfect compliment to Jordan, who receives double and triple teams. All he needs to do is slide to the open spot and then make the shot when Michael delivers the ball. As Pippen is able to get to it and decides to regroup. When Jordan scored the uh, 46, that was the uh, the one loss in the series to the Sixers. Jordan again. He has 24. The Bulls 84. Jordan with the ball at the top of the circle is so difficult to guard, particularly when you have shooters like Paxson spotting up on the wings. To play him head up, one on one, a nightmare. 71. Jordan, yes. Out of it and force some turnovers, some hurried shots, try and get some easy scores themselves. And here's Jordan going for 12. He's got it. 12 straight field goals from Michael Jordan. The Lakers only one for 10 from the floor. And the four, Pippen on the alley. -oop. We said last game when Michael Jordan's tongue is out, something bad's going to happen to the opposition. Once again, the tongue out. There's the bad thing right there. Fire away. He's now one for nine. The look away to Levingston. Jordan. Oh, a spectacular move by Michael Jordan. That's 13 consecutive. Jordan's trying to find a way to miss his shot. Instead of taking the easy one, he tries to make it hard and still comes up. He said it to the fans, I love it. Jordan, yes. For Chicago will live with that. Their defense was very, very good in game one. It's been even better in game two. Tenacious, aggressive the entire evening. Horace Grant has had a... To form a trap, a double team can't give him a clear look at the basket. And Jordan hits from long range. Daylight for Scott. Jordan from downtown. Michael Jordan with a three-pointer. And it gives the motion. Then the second man, Perkins, flashes right in behind him. Here's Jordan. Yes. Well, Michael Jordan getting off fast in this first quarter, which is... Shot clock down at five. Three. Jordan. Yes. Michael Jordan with a fadeaway.
The shot clock was down to two. The game is tied at 23 on Purdue, who came over to help out. Let's go back a moment ago when Scott was playing Jordan right there, challenges the shot, but the difference in size and the fade, the elevation by Jordan that Michael Jordan has built in Levingston. Two steal right there by Chicago. Jordan twice in a row, dishing to Levingston for scores. And Michael Jordan converts. He has 13. The Bulls lead by three. Good. And Pippen knocked it out. What a save by Pippen. Jordan. Jordan on the rebound. It is. That is his third for the game. Beautiful look away. Jordan for Pippen. And the game is tied at 74. The Chicago Bulls have come roaring back. Lakers. Requesting the timeout with eight minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the third. Perkins with the left hand flip turned back by Levingston and back down court the look away from Jordan to Pippen. A 20 to 7 run by Chicago to tie it. Jordan regrouping and then fires. Yes. And that is his first field goal in quite a spell. He now has 21 points. When you could take the ball in the backcourt rather than advance it to half court, feeling they have a better chance of getting it into Jordan's hands there than they would if they tried to take it at the half court line. And the Bulls do not have any timeouts remaining. Craig Hodges, the three point specialist, has checked in. Here's Jordan on the pull up. Yes! And the game is tied! Two with three and four tenths seconds remaining. Lakers call for a timeout. With the threat of the three-point shooters on the floor, you can't come and help quite as quickly on Michael. He gets Scott back into an area where he feels comfortable. After coming down, he almost... The spin by Jordan and hits on the reverse. Michael saving it for overtime. Two... Jordan loves to use the rim to come up on the other side. He drives baseline, sees the rotation coming, has the great ability to hang and reverse it for the score. Foul on Worthy. Jordan off the head fake. Yes. Michael Jordan with his. They've hit their last six from the field. Jordan. Yes, it counts, but he came up hobbling. Once again, landing on that right foot with the sore toe. If they're going to force him baseline, you've got to rotate sooner. Sam Perkins waits. It's too late under the basket with Jordan attacking the way he does. Foul call. We see here in the finals, has he lost confidence? No, but they better start producing because the series is winding up short. And that shot by Teagle went short. Jordan at the other end, able to hit. Green and Worthy. In transition, the Bulls do a great job of keeping their heads up and looking down the floor. And then who better than Michael to catch and convert? They go off in front of the rest of the field. It's just a matter of whether or not the point guard sees him and can deliver the ball. Craig Hodges called for his second foul. And Englewood, it's game number four of the best of seven. Shot clock running down on the Bulls. Jordan gets it off. And Michael Jordan now has nine points despite the jam toe and you can see he's a bit on the, to the shot by Devons. Bulls lead at 39 35. Jordan around Devons. Tremendous ball movement by Chicago. They really trust each other believe in each after a complete swing rotation of the basketball, they wind up with Debots trying to move out on Jordan. Just a mismatch there. No way Vladi can guard him off the dribble. This is all a result of the Bulls' offense and ball movement getting it to the weak side. Earlier the second quarter. Michael Jordan fires. Yes! for the half along with six assists final seconds of the first half and Jordan able to unleash and connects actually that play had broken down on the weak side of the floor the players had started too early so Michael hit the postman and then moved in that direction to get the return 
Three seconds is an eternity in the NBA. Jordan to the fadeaway. Oh, he hit the back of the rim as he saw Divac approach. He saw, the, he saw the poor shooting by the L.A. Lakers. They have died since midway through the second quarter. Jordan on the fade because... Jordan from deep. 25 for Michael Jordan. And Teagle now one for six, and it leads to this. Coming up on two minutes. Remaining in this first quarter, Jordan off the steal. Michael Jordan with his second field goal. The Bulls defense finds a way to get easy scores. Fourth in the league this year in steals. Jordan, one of the best pickpockets you're going to find, and then one of the best finishers at that end. Armstrong and Jordan in the backcourt. Caught right, Grant tipping up front. Here's Jordan. Michael is now five for eight. He has ten. And two. So Michael able to answer. And Magic looking to push it down court. Here's Green, stripped by Jordan. Pippen will put his back. They change in so quickly. They go from the defense to the... Goals by four. Timeout has been called. Jordan, yes. 18 for Jordan. The ball from the field, and the game is tied at 76. And there's that weak side attack as Jordan takes the lob off the back pick play and slams it down. But going back. Pippen played by Green. 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Here's Jordan. Oh, what a move by Michael Jordan. Going to the left hand and able to sweep. Arm Albert, Mike Fratello, Amon Rashad, Steve Jones. Michael Jordan, yes. He has 25. Tied at 88. 740 remaining in the fourth. Now Campbell on Jordan. Went to the fadeaway. What a move by Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan can sense that the crowd is in it, that the Lakers are in it. He's going to take it into his own hands. He starts actually in the middle of the lane of finish. This far crowd. Jordan with the crossover and the bucket. He goes with Jordan against the double team, the triple team, the rotating defense, the pump fake, the rotations. Still finds a way to score. Michael Jordan with 30 points. The Bulls lead by seven. Final seconds. Magic's three-point attempt blocked. Pippen comes away with it. And the Chicago Bulls have won their first ever NBA championship.